There you go. Works if I turn the microphone on, doesn't it? <laughs> well then, hello again. So yeah, that was my first part of my first ever walkthrough. Oh dear. Oh, the, yeah, but uh, it was moderately successful. But uh, hello again, my name is Matt. And um, yeah, so uh, we'll just come back. I've just applied the mission. Yes, yeah. See, I, I tell, I'm recording these in like a, a session, as you know. So that I, when I when I've got the time, I'm able to um, get as much content as I can, and then look at it afterwards. Okay. Um, pardon me. All right, I've got my uh, supermarket brand energy drink. Uh, right. So let's have a look. Right. So we we harassed an airfield. Are we harassing the same one again? Oh, I think we are, yeah. But uh, as you can see, in comparison to the last map, the Germans have been making some progress. Progress? Progress? Yeah, they've started to push past the front line push. They're desperately trying to get to uh, either try to surround this... Um, well, it's not really a peninsula, because it's, uh, it's Finland's over there. But uh, just to get to this point, to cut off this part of our forces, you know, along with the Finnish uh, um, advancing down this way as well. So, um, yes, so we're in a bit more danger this time. Uh, hopefully there's, they still haven't got any fighters re waiting for us in the air to uh, pwn us hard. So, uh, and we don't have any fire escorts because, you know, Soviet Russia... Um, thinks that the IL-2 is uh, bloody invincible or something. But yeah, also, down here, they've uh, started to uh, cut off uh, Tallinn, the capital, and uh, the remaining uh, Estonian forces, or at least the Soviet forces that were garrisoned there after they were occupied uh, in, uh, earlier in the war. And uh, they'll be beginning to advance this way as well, to uh, link up with this detachment. Of course, it's not just a little blotch here. The, the front lines carry on beyond this map. And these aren't really realistic representations of the real front lines and progressions at the time. But yeah, I think it's the next day, I think. The German and um, Soviet campaigns advance uh, day by day. In fact, I'll just have a check, won't I? We can have a look at the roster. So yeah, the, uh, the, uh, well, the, uh, the squadron leader is here. Massive amount of kills. Uh, well, I mean, um, sorties. Same thing for this guy as well. I think this must be mean uh, kills relative to um, this war. Uh, but yeah, imagine these people must have been in the Winter War or something beforehand, whereas my character is just, uh, and these guys are just uh, fresh for this war, for the uh, Operation Barbarossa. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at my... Oh, no, that's not him. That's okay. That's his. Oh, he's from Leningrad as well. So all the more reason why he wants to uh, try his best. All right. So uh, let's have a look. See, here we are. This is the same. You can't change this. This, this is probably like an American stock photo pilot. Um, but yeah. So uh, yeah. So so it does advance uh, day by day. So here we are. In our, in our first sorter, we actually got a kill. Uh, what about anybody else? How have they gone on? Oh, okay. Well, he's got two kills in five sorties. What about this chap? He hasn't got any. Well, I suppose it's more about just showing your threat. And uh, unfortunately, this this uh, uh, n uh, officer, uh, uh, lieutenant, you'd say, in America, but lieutenant, I forgot to mention in the last video. I I'm British, aren't I? So, lieutenant of some sort. And that must be a sort of senior lieutenant kind of role. Then I've got captain, major, and then squadron leader of, of some sort. I don't know what the exact translation is. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's get on. Uh, right, so same aircraft again. I think we've got the same armament. Yes, we have. So, uh, yes. So they've taken this town, which is uh, here. Yeah, see. Little town, village, oh yeah, a town. Villages don't show up. Um, <clears throat> so we're going back down. Another low altitude strike, and we will um, uh, strike that airfield again. Hopefully this time I won't barge straight in. Uh, too busy talking to you guys, 
uh, and uh, get uh, cut up by the uh, 88mm guns. And also there better not be any uh, aircraft, any 109s waiting to get revenge on the the chap that I, the chap's plane that I killed. Right, so anyway, here we go, magnetos off, then back on again, just because, you know, I like that flavour. Engine on, flaps. So as you can tell, probably the battery, you can't operate these with the mouse, you have to use keyboard controls. So I think in the newer renditions of of the game, and in Battle of Stalingrad, you can uh, get your mouse uh, pointer and uh, click on those. So like you just move your, you either move it with the mouse, then click, or you move your head, track IR, or an equivalent control, or a little joystick on, a little joystick on your joystick, uh, and then you can uh, click a, you can click on those buttons like you can in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. But are we the last one in the formation again? Yes, we are. The number seven. Number seven. But uh, okay. So let me just fast forward. Oh, actually, first, let me apply some rudder trim to the left. I don't think you can really see. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's working. So yeah, uh, my PS3 controller isn't really optimal for uh, for this game. It's best to have a real joystick. Uh, it's good in. It's better. It's way better than mouse and keyboard. You can't even use the mouse as a joystick. It's too much of a faff to find a compatible emulator. And everything, and plus you need something to look around if you haven't got track IR like me. So, um, no, I so uh, unfortunately, um, yeah, resorting to a PS3 controller mainly just for the joysticks and for the ability to, to be able to control the aircraft and then immediately trim it rather than having to reach for my keyboard. And um, yes, so uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's it does the job. It's. Uh, I've got to be careful with it. I, I, if you saw, if you saw with when the sensitivity settings uh, in the last video, it wasn't all like as soon as I put it in one direction, it immediately puts the control surface uh, to that point. It gradually does it like in, uh, like in, uh, I suppose Microsoft Flight, that uh, unfinished uh, flight simulator that they uh, cancelled. But anyway, let's get on. Immediately start with the uh, the left rudder this time. There we go. That's much better. I, I can't remember uh, how much trim I put on, but it seems to be a lot better than the first time round. I actually caught uh, now that I expected it. And you see there, look, not as massive blind spot as you see. It's almost like it's a tricycle gear uh, landing system. There we go. There we go. We'll go Alright, so there we go. Gear up, so yeah, def my, definitely got my gear setting, so last time my gear was damaged somehow. There we go, and then it'll raise the flaps pretty quickly, so I can, I can counter it with trim quite well. Right, radiator is closed, might as well open it now. Right then, they're pulling away from me slightly, and the, uh, the leader's whinging at me for not staying in formation, but it's because they know exactly the computer is designed to have to know to do it exactly, whereas in real life, of course, uh, human input is different for each person. Right, let me just uh, sort out my map. So to get, I, I change that all the time, just to, I like to get a general view when I'm about to like set for cruise and all that. In fact, actually, it's time to slow down. Slow down to a Christ cruise altitude, to cruise speed, cruise with my checklist. I, I haven't got it written down. I just a rule of thumb. I keep calling it cruise altitude, but uh, there is no cruise altitude in war. You just have the altitude you're assigned. You're ordered to to hold, or hold the best you can. In my case. Okay. So there we go. Ooh, bit of a. Uh, a bit of a, a um, bit of a drop in the, the uh, because of the cloud. There we go. There we go. That's not too bad. I mean, I'm still having to push a little bit on the joystick. Oh dear. No, actually. Why is he slowing down so much? I suppose it's because they want to um, they want to um, cool off their engines. Because the AI, when even the autopilot on for my aircraft. It just full throttles it, or so it full throttles it or something, 
uh, then it overheats, then it will slow down a fair bit to quickly cool it off, and then it will full throttle again, so it's constantly like seesaws between being nice and cool and then really hot. But uh, I'm sure there's mods out there that might uh, sort that out. Right then, so what's our cr Oh, actually, we don't need that much throttle to be honest. We're doing 300. Our cruise speed, I suppose, is 300 kilometers per hour. But so I need to, I need to raise my nose to slow down faster so that they can pull ahead of me, and also I won't intercept them. I'll get behind them. But um, yeah, don't worry, I'll, I will skip ahead once uh, we we'll get past this bit. I just uh, there we go. Make sure I'm not in the gun sight view. I sometimes leave it in that because uh, some of them, you know, it's a definite zoom in, you know, as well as if I press delete as well, Ooh. and then insert to uh, counteract that. But uh, sometimes, sometimes it's barely any difference. You like, bear, um, I think it's most prominent in the 109 because the 109 has an offset gun sight, so you can see ahead, and then you can either see half of the crosshairs through normal view, or you can move your head character's head to the to the right to look through the gun sight like they did in a real life. Oh dear. Now I'm slowing down far too much. So I'm gonna autopilot now, let them sort it out. Oh dear, what's he doing? Yeah, it seems to react wildly to the trim. See I I've barely heard that message. That lookout stop that oh no. That's barely been out. I don't know what causes it. It's something. But anyway don't need to time skip these waypoints so they're really they're quite close together so I'll just uh, time compress so let's have a look see what we got here. so through uh, contact reports quote unquote we know that there's a couple of armored convoys and the trains uh, and the fact that there is uh, no again there's no um, there's no enemy fighters guarding the uh, Guarding the airfield, we're tar that's our target, so obviously we're going to catch them by surprise again. I'm not sure whether they'll start learning and then they'll uh, pick it up. I imagine they do, I think I remember they do in the later ones, in the, it, later in the war. That's not because of historical accuracy, that's just because of the way they've programmed the campaigns. But yeah, here we are. Oh, in fact, actually, it's, it's time skip now. To, to a behind the lines. Hopefully that truck convoy just on the border in the front lines isn't got a blinking tank, anti-aircraft tank in it that'll blinking kill me. Because them and the trains, and the, the trains that have a set of uh, anti-aircraft guns on them are a nightmare to shoot down. They just end up killing you straight away. They bombard you with a big, it's like shooting a ship. It's got a massive broadside. Right, okay. So, oh yeah, I forgot to, uh, I f oh, enemies are nearby, well of course, it's that uh, truck convoy down there, isn't it? Just beyond the trees, is it? Is that it? I don't know, is that it over there? Ooh, oh, see, yeah, it's quite difficult to tell, old game this is, so, uh, draw distance, well, as well as my graphical settings anyway. But uh, anyway, we'll ignore them. They're not my target. I suppose I could nip them on the way back if I'm absolute. If I if I uh, pussy out because of the air anti-aircraft guns. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, like I said in the last mission, not necessarily trying to be a, a massive legend in the in the in the cockpit. Not trying to be Russia's best pilot. Just trying to do my bit. Scare the enemy and survive. You know, I'm pretty much a conscript, aren't I? You know, it's, uh, at this point in history, you're forced to uh, do what you're doing. You know, I could have been a simple ice fishing farmer since I'm from the Murmansk region. You know, my character, not me. But, uh, ooh, right there. Let's get this show on the road. Drop it down so I understand what I'm doing. What will I go? What will I go? For? Now, the anti aircraft guns on the left side of the uh, taxi and his handles. So, bombs. I should have assigned the bombs to the PlayStation button because I use them least. I use the rockets. I use more precision on the controller than using rockets. 
Okay, okay. I suppose I'll dispose of them first with a, with a fly guy. Right. That general white circle is a bomb, a, a rough bomb set. Right, it's a, a rough bomb site. I doubt that's going to hit anything. No, see. Yeah, you have to be at a slight angle. You're not really. A, it's not really a level bombing bomb site. That's when you have that other one with the scope. It's more of you are the cross between using the white, the white reticule on the base of the gun sights and the actual machine gun sights as for dive bombing. But uh, anyway, let's come round for a pass. Now I've got me rockets. I've saved a bit of weight with bombs, so we've got a bit more maneuverability. Now, hope they don't nick all the targets. Now, I see, yeah, they're attacking the guns. Right. Now, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to put half speed or even quarter speed just so I can mi precisely use the PS3 controller to aim the sights. Yeah. Try and be uh, a bit more. Not cheat as much. Oh, oh dear. Oh, no, was it? Was it a waste? God, I'm, I'm normally really good with the rockets. Have I got to be like. Oh, I hit somebody. Was that talking to me? Or was that. I don't know. Okay, let's try again. Shall I just use my cannons this time, or have I got more rockets? I think I'll fire off my last rockets. And oh, I destroyed the hangers at least. Oh wow, one shot. Well, there we go. And I've got plenty of cannon rounds now. I'll come round and then I'll I'll angle myself good. Right. Is that a thunder bolt then in the cloud? It doesn't look like a thun a thundery cloud, does it? Right. So they do congratulate you if you hit. If you hit with your uh, bombs or rockets, they say, "Oh, well done." If uh, if anything else, I don't think they do. They're just like, "Yeah, that was easy." Of course, the AI is quite good at aiming. And normally, you would throttle down when you become, when you begin a dive for a, a strafing run, but because of those anti-aircraft runs, I don't want to hover too much. Oh yeah. Oh. What am I doing? I'm bloody doing my job. That's what I'm doing. Oh dear. No, we don't do that. Right. No, I won't do a. a you know, I won't have. I'm, I'm going to rush a bit here. All right. Okay. A bit of rudder. Hey. Good job. Well done, me. Right, is there anything else left? Oh, they do congratulate you if you use um, if you use your cannons or your other your machine your guns. I suppose that's all right. Thanks. Right. Oh, I forgot to open my radiator. That would have helped, wouldn't it? Oh dear. Don't want to go too slow. See, normally you'd use your combat flaps to do a quick turn, but that doesn't seem to work in this game very well. Now, what's left? So I've killed all those planes, or killed as much as I'd want over there. Just those guns. Uh, so that's all. Oh, oh. Well, there go them. Are they already been shot? Yeah, they've already been shot. What flak? There's nothing left. There's anything left. Oh, it's all gone. Well then. I've got some cannon rounds to spare. Now we heard of a, tr a truck convoy just on this road, so I'll follow this road here. That's the one. There they are. There. Now my nose keeps trimming up. Well, well I mean, my nose keeps pointing up because I, I haven't quite trimmed it out. But sometimes on a stray, if you want it to gradually do it so that you don't have to do it yourself, so you can just lay waste with the guns. Oh no. They've got. Oh yeah! Oh, kill that anti-aircraft tank as well. Oh wow, this is a very good mission. Hopefully, I won't die, or crash land, or whatnot. Now, is there one left? 
right. Now, normally, this is also the first time I've actually done it without slowing down at half speed, so... Oops, I don't know, I've cocked this up, haven't I? Oop. Okay, yeah, that's enough. I'm not going to be able to shoot those down with, the, with machine guns. I need cannons for that. All right, then, so I'll call that a day. Um, so we'll RPM down for cruise, throttle up. Radiator's already open because I was trying to cool down the engine. And uh, I think I'll call that a day. Yeah, everyone's going home. Everyone's buggered off without me. Yeah, thanks. So, uh, yeah. Well, in fact, let me just test out the autopilot. Will the autopilot send me? Yeah, it will. There we go. So there we go. The autopilot will, um, will... Oh, no. This is that, because that train... That train will not probably shoot you down. So don't worry about the engine overheating. The, the, um, the, the AI will the control the plane. will sort that out. All right, then. I think... Generally, I think I'm going to cheat really and become be the first one to leave because I don't want to spend loads of time uh, circling around and and uh, blinking, hearing loads of radio messages of them being cleared to land and then being asked to go around because everybody's asked to do it at the same time. Yeah, the the the, the, uh, the computer hasn't been sorted out, and I don't think there's any way to do that unless you uh, mute the radio. But yeah, I'd say that was uh, quite successful. But uh, I better not do the curse of the commentator and uh, botch my landing now that I'm quite satisfied with that result. Right, I think that's enough skipping. I'll just time compress. Now you'll see, you'll see this update once we've reached that final waypoint, and it'll come up with an approach pattern. That just generally means that the, the AI has been as, has been dis, uh, assigned that. Oh. Oh no, it's the other waypoint. But, uh. Right, so he's gonna land. I suppose I'll let him land. Right, okay, don't worry, I'll switch it back. Alright, I'm gonna do it now. Right, full RPM. I'm gonna set it back to the way so that when you turn it off, it's like that when you leave it. And then we'll throttle down. Let me ask for permission. Oh. I won't go around, I'll just wait. <laughs> I'll be patient. Where's the airport? Where's it? Look at her, gone past it. Where is it? Hang on. Oh, it's to my, still to my right a bit. There it is. Let me try again. Седьмой. There we go. Вам разрешена посадка. Следите за самолетами на полосе. Now let me hurry in. Okay. Now yeah, I'll be all right. Now just yes, the gear does work. Oh dear, I don't damage it. There we go. I just want to double check that my gear hadn't been broken, but I didn't take any hits in that mission. I don't think. Everything's good. Oh, don't want too much mixture. The most flimping saturate the engine. It starts. It starts. Uh, ejaculating it out, but uh, right, let's slow down, start creating some drag, throttle about 30% generally, and then you idle it over the runway. Uh, come in a little bit fast here, right? Landing you down, flaps, that was a bit, I cut that a bit close, right? Yeah, make sure that. There we go, nice and smooth. Trim up a little bit, just a gradually touch down. Oh, there we go. Then tailwheel lock. Just um, I forgot to lock that on land on takeoff. Flaps up so that we don't end up coming back up again. Right. Brakes. You'll hear that whirring noise. You want to hold it too down too long. Now, unfortunately, um, I don't trust the AI will stop for me on the taxiway. See, there's one coming up there, so um, I'm going to have to uh, navigate this way. I, I'm sure I will try and taxi from the cockpit view, but this is just 
out of convenience to make sure that the AI doesn't hit me. Okay, now we can lock the tail wheel. I mean, unlock the tail wheel, I mean. Right. So we've achieved the target. Let's talk about Don't worry, one of them will be able to land like that one, I think. Alright, come on. Because well, normally uh, you would be able to just stick your head out the cop, you'd open the cockpit window and stick your head out so you can see where you're going, or just stick your head over the top of the nose. But uh, in fact, I could probably do that now. Yeah, it doesn't really provide much. Oh dear. Got to uh, throttle up a little bit. Just to get off this grass. We'll slip onto this little, this little bit over here. Doesn't really matter what order. Where you park, as long as you park somewhere. Um, there we go. Can't open the canopy in this one, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, what do you normally do? Uh, you, f you mix, you cut off the mix, you turn off the magnetos, which are just like the spark plugs. Uh, it doesn't matter. And then you put the uh, mixture back in again. Uh, then, yeah, flaps are already done, bloody bloody blah, blah. Oh, then you'd have a parking brake in modern times, but uh, you don't in this, so you just have to put the chocks in. And there you go. Quite successful, if I say so myself. Alright. Oh, is that one of the P3s or P2? But, uh, okay. There's my squadron leader, who managed to land first. Uh... I can't see that. That's a U-2 um, uh, scout plane, spotter plane. Not like the one that, uh, what's his name, Gary Powers was shot down in over, um, you know, to do with a Cuban Missile Crisis, all that. It's a Russian biplane. Here's our uh, second in command, theoretically, coming in. And, um, yes. Don't let's see what happens when he, where's he going to park? Oh, where's he going? Going? Oh, he's ta there's no middle taxiways, is there? So he's going to taxi in. Sorry about the radio. Oh, he's going to park next to me. Alright then, okay, that should be enough. So there we go. Successful mission. And let's have a look how well we did. Uh, yeah. Uh, normally there's supposed to be music playing here, but for some reason it doesn't kick in until I apply it and go to the next mission briefing. Um, right, so, uh, quite a big mess over here. We pretty much decimated that airfield, because we killed off the last of their, the rest of their planes. We destroyed the hangars, in case there was any more in there. And we killed the AA, gu well, I didn't, because uh, they're really difficult to hit. Uh, I strafed a lot of planes, look here. I c and I destroyed that whole convoy, more or less. Um, but yeah, I killed those five fighters on the ground. Yeah, any a, a dead 109 for a bomber pilot is a a, a good one. Uh, not the pilot, just the planes. We're not trying to. We're not. We're not, got nothing against the the uh, the blokes flying them. Just the, just the planes. Uh, uh, oh no! Yes, we lost uh, another another one. Hmm. So we've lost one plane for, uh, at least for me, five planes, enemy planes, and a, a, a supply convoy, or a, uh, probably a medical convoy. So uh, I've probably violated the, the uh, Geneva Convention. But, uh, you know, it's hard to tell <laughs> at, these at, at these altitudes. Um, so, yes. Now, I... Um, I cut off the video, the first video, before I applied this, and so, um, yes. See, I'm not really intending on just doing one mission per video. I'm actually intending to uh, do like at least like 45 minutes to an hour or something, if possible, if YouTube will allow me and it doesn't take ages to process and put it online. Um, I'm just doing it right now just because of the amount of time I've got left in the, this recording session. I mean, uh, it's it, what is it? It's half ten. It's half ten at night here uh, in uh, you know uh, UTC zero GMT. So um, yes, this is as much as I can do. 
so uh, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Uh, I do appreciate it. Um, and uh, yes, uh, oh, I'll go on then. I suppose I'll apply it now, and then I'll um, I'll uh, I'll cu I'll end it there. Hmm. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Music's kicked in now. Oh, so we've got a replacement because we've lost a couple of people. Uh, has the front line moved again? Uh, I think it might have. There's fighting going on in these areas here, isn't there? They've taken where? Oh, they're advancing this way as well. Let's have a look over here. That hasn't moved yet. Finland hasn't made a move yet, at least according to the game. But yeah, it seems to be this is the focus. So yeah, generally it only really moves it only really focuses on the bit that you're playing, so if I was stationed somewhere over here or even somewhere in here or something, sometimes they even get transferred to these bits and then we'll piss off back to where we were because we're like, oh no, they're coming for us. But yeah, here we go, I'm not going to read this today. Oh dear, yes. Yeah, I'm not going to detail about that, especially. Not much has changed. They're starting to gradually push forwards to cut off our forces in uh, Estonia and a little bit of uh, Soviet Union and they're also pushing this way and uh, yes wait to see what Finland's going to do it's not necessarily a bad thing that uh, the front lines get closer and closer because that means you spend less time flying to your targets so uh, that means less time skipping or less time just waiting trimming and stuff which can be fun for, uh, and it is for me sometimes, but uh, generally um, for these, I like to just get through the campaign as quickly as I can because it's a, it's a long campaign. You know, we're going through four years, four or five years of fighting. But anyway, I, I'm, uh, I'm rambling now. So um, thanks for what, thanks again for watching and joining me. Leave um, wh or whatever you do, you know, likes, comments, and stuff like that. Don't feel obliged. <laughs> and uh, I will see you for the next mission. Goodbye.